Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. <clears throat> what up, though? Heist man the foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Man. This is what happened last week on Earth. We got to talk about it, man. For starters, we got to talk about finished line. I don't know this dude's name. I know he's a content creator of some sort, but he ran a marathon of some sort, I suppose, I think, man. But the finish line, he passed away. He died at the finish line, man. At Disneyland or Disney World. I think it's land because Disneyland is in California. Disney World is in Florida. So Disneyland, he was out there and he got to the finish line. He passed away, man. Cardiac infarction or something. I don't know, man. I can't put that out there like that. Like I knew what happened, but that's what happened. This happened last week on Earth, man. R.I.P. to this dude right here, man. His peoples. See, they, they was roasting me last night. Or well, Friday. It is Monday right now. I'm putting this out. But they was roasting me Friday night. Talking about some, see, I ain't going to die because I don't run. They was kidding me. I'm fat. Leave me alone, y'all. All right. I repeat that dude though. The bouquet brawl. I don't know what just happened. I don't know nothing about it. I just know what happened last week on Earth. These people got into a whole physical altercation because they had a wedding, man. They, you know, you throw the bouquet and people start doing their thing. They start fighting and all that stuff. But that's what happened with them, yo. Um, I don't think no man want to choose a woman after seeing this. Like, come on, man. Y'all in the paint like that? Y'all going hard in the paint? Y'all fighting over some, some flowers? Some hypotheticals? If I catch it, I'm getting married next. No. So that's what the dude's looking at y'all doing this, man. This is disrespectful. This is, first of all, y'all disrespecting the people's wedding that y'all going to go to the ground with it. And like, I've seen it like, oh, it was a little snatchy, snatchy a few times and stuff. But these females is out there like full-fledged brawling over it. Like, I want to win. I'm going to get it. I'm getting married next. I want to get married or whatever. You can still get married without winning this. But. It was like three of them on the ground. Like, that was wow. This video out there, man. Y'all go check it out. Bouquet Brawl. Bouquet. 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 All right. Jailhouse Rock. Mm -hmm. He ain't rocking no more. But Tory Lanez. He got his recording devices confiscated in prison. He in prison, you know, for doing what he did to Megan Thee Stallion's foot, allegedly. Um, He got convicted of it so maybe i can't say allegedly but y'all know what i'm talking about man her foot um we call that movie harlem nights so i'm gonna get that little pinky that little gnawed up you know quick anyway that's what he did yeah but he got his um recording devices taken away from him and i was looking like yo how y'all gonna take his stuff away i'm like he should never had it in the first place you know and all this stuff and my co-hosts they were telling me like hey they gave it to him so what he didn't do. He didn't do something right. That they wanted to get it back. Mm -hmm. like, how, like how he get that inside of there in the first place. Like that ain't like. No. Piece of paper. That is a, a microphone. The computer and all this stuff. I don't know what he had to actually record with. But I know you got to have a microphone of some sort. I don't think you can smuggle that stuff in there. Either way, he got it taken away from him, man. So he will not be recording any more hits from jail. So he will not be jailhouse rocking no more. Mm, mm, mm. See what this is right here. Was this a Super Bowl snub? Everybody talking about it, man. <coughs> Kendra Lamar, he is now going to be performing at the Super Bowl in um, New Orleans this coming up. Super Bowl. They say Jay-Z has something to do with it because he um, a part of Rock Nation and he decide who performs. And Lil Wayne and a lot of people feel like he's been snubbed for this, for performing in New Orleans. Birdman and jumped out the window and put it on Aunt Gla Miss Gladys. I think I said Aunt Gladys. I got an aunt named Gladys. That's why I said that. Well, he put it on Miss Gladys. Um, Nicki Minaj, she came out and, 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 you know, on her little rant. Everybody kind of, you know, iffy about not necessarily that Kendra is performing, but they mad that Lil Wayne is not performing in New Orleans on the Super Bowl. And the conversation had to be brought up like, like Lil Wayne, he does have a catalog, of course, of music. But do he have a catalog of music that is performable at a Super Bowl for 
millions and millions of people. Like millions and millions of people know his music and stuff, but do we have like those type of songs? You know what I mean? Like he got great songs, countless songs. And if he wanted to, he can get into his bag on some New Orleans shit. Like this happened in New Orleans. And like he can really go into it like he got a pocket of music he can get into and just, just go. We're not taking nothing from him. But do we have them songs that's gonna that's gonna reach the masses? I don't know. I think he do, but I don't know. Like Six foot, seven foot, eight foot. Excuse my charisma. Back with the swisher. I don't know what he what he gonna really perform. Um, a Millie. Like he got songs that he can't perform. Lollipop. That's what um, Gorilla Strong said last night. Like a lollipop. Said we gonna perform that. It's like, hey, you right. You know he do have some songs, but do we have? It's crazy. Um, it was also brought up that this, like I said, this happened in New Orleans, but. The Super Bowl happened in New Orleans a couple other times. I think it happened twice already, and he didn't perform. So why is y'all mad now? That was a question asked. Like, why y'all mad now? He and it was hosted in L.A. He didn't perform. Kendrick didn't perform over there, or did he? Did he perform with Snoop and all? Oh, Snoop and all them did perform. Snoop, Dr. Dre, Eminem. I don't know, man. Was he snubbed or not? A lot of people think he was. A lot of people don't think he was at all. So that's up for y'all to decide, man. But uh, it's coming up pretty soon, the Super Bowl. I think, what, January? Is he going to be able to perform? A lot of people saying that it's a play at Drake because Lil Wayne was going to bring Drake out there with him and Nicki Minaj. Um, a lot of people saying, like, yo, is Kendrick Lamar going to call? Um, what's my man's name? Is he going to talk about Drake and do that PDF file song in front of millions and millions and millions of people? That's going to be wild, man. Probably a minor. Like, you don't want to hear that at the Super Bowl. Like, this nigga talking about me, man. I'm Oh, my God. They not like us. They not like us. That's going to be at the Super Bowl, man. <laughs> All right, well, look. I'd send a cease and desist if I was Drake. You're not performing that song at the Super Bowl, man. You're not going to be calling me a toucher. At the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl ads ain't shit, no way. Spending all the money for all them Super Bowl commercials that don't do good. And you gonna let people sit up there and call me a, a foul? Oh, no, sir. I gotta have you, Kendrick, if I was Drake. That's just me personally. If you lie, she gonna eat you. That's what I thought about when I seen this story right here, man. This woman right here, she gonna eat this dude, man, if he lie. Maybe that's what he's scared of because um, this is a couple. And they said that... Um, she said that she'd make him take a lot of the tests every day home when he come home. Every single day he come home from work, he got to take a lot of tech the tests. For her? For him? Hey, yo. To each his own, man. Y'all love who y'all love, but come on, man. We was thinking like, yo, don't nobody want him. Don't nobody want her. She might be out here doing some shit, too. You know, she anybody show her some attention, she going to go. So... Maybe she didn't even take a lot of tech to test. But that's crazy. I thought that was real, real crazy for somebody to take a lot of tech to test every day when they come home. I wouldn't want to be with nobody that, I got, that don't trust me. That I got to take a lot of tech to test every time I come home. Like, bitch, I just got off the motherfucking ship eight hours, nine hours. I come home, I'm tired, bitch. I need to give you a sandwich or something. You're supposed to have my meal cooked. You want to give me? Hold on. This? What? A lot of tech to test. Smack that shit to the floor, man. Go on somewhere. Fix me a turkey pot pie. Psh. Nah, I'm playing. Yeah, ever seen, um, we call that movie. The Breakfast Club. <laughs> I watch too much TV. Here we go. Dave Grohl got a side, baby. Dave Grohl was a part of the Foo Fighters and, um, I forgot the other band. We, they said it in the chat last night or Friday, Friday night. But Dave Grohl got a side, baby, man. Dave Grohl said, I've recently become a father of a new baby, daughter, born outside of my marriage. I plan to be a loving and supportive parent to her. I love my wife and my children, and I'm doing everything I can to get to regain their trust and earn their forgiveness. We're grateful for your um, consideration toward um, all of the family, the children involved, and as we move forward, whatever. I ain't like that statement, man. I ain't like that statement at all. 
Um, because simple fact is, you did what you did. That's between you and your family. You ain't got to show the world, tell the world you sorry for what you did. Ain't none of their business. Damn the world, man. That's you and your family stuff, man. The wife made him put that out. Or he did it for the wife. Like, no. You had a side baby. That's what people do. They get side pussy. They get side babies. And that's what he got. He got a side baby. He had to... No, man. Get out of my business, cuz. Ain't none of your business. I ain't gonna put I ain't gonna put out no statement that I got a side baby. Come on, Dave, bro. You a rock and roll legend or rock legend or something. You supposed to have side baby. No. <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to have side babies. You know what I mean? But don't, man. Everybody found out about it. It's like, okay. Ain't none of your business. Get the camera out my face, man. See, I couldn't be famous, man. I'd be like Kanye West and Chris Brown. I'd be fighting all kind of paparazzi and stuff all the time, yo. That's between him and his family, yo. TMZ, get out my face, man. Yes, I got a side baby. Move. Try to get off the plane, man. You asked me about my business, man. Look on my face, Harvey. Harvey Levin, move. I right, that's just me personally. So, Dave Grohl, I think you, you took an L on this one, man, coming out with a statement. Saying you plan to be a loving and supportive parent to her. Yes, that's your baby. You got to be a loving, supportive parent. So you love your wife and your children. That other baby, your children, too. You out there hitting something raw, making a baby. That baby is included with my children. Don't try to make that baby a damn side mission. That baby is yours. All your baby's yours. The woman is the basket. They just hold the baby. The man is the most important part. Remember that. Not an otter game. <laughs> Not an otter game. This woman right here, man, she's of, of Asian descent, we found out last night. I had to look it up. Um, she got attacked by a gang of otters. We don't know what the hell going on with a gang of otters, but there's a gang of otters and got at this woman, man, and got at her. I saw, um, this is the photo they showed, but it was very different. The blurriness, um, because um, she had a lot of um, a lot of blood work <laughs> on this picture. They attacked a, a gang of otters. What is the otters doing? What did you? How did you get attacked by the otters? Like I think I can outrun a gang of otters. I can outrun two gangs of otters. So I don't know what she was doing. They showing them running across the street. Did she see them? Did they sneak up from behind? I know they got her arms. How does they, how they, they get up that high? Can they jump? Can otters jump? I don't know. I just know this woman right here got attacked by a gang of otters. And they put the business to her, man. They worked her over. Twice over, man. Y'all be careful out here, man. Some otters out here. They were black otters. So look at them. Hey, yo, son. What she doing walking, son? Take her watch. No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what else. Night clap. That's what they calling it, man. The night clap. Shannon Sharp, man. He got his um tape leaked. His Instagram, he said, you know, he had a um, sexual encounter with a woman named my my Michelle. And um it leaked. But it wasn't footage, it was audio. It was footage of, I mean it was audio of him performing um duties with a woman. He was getting it in, him and some woman. And that's the news. That's the story of it. It was night clap. I think it's cap. I don't know, man. Was it set up? Was it stage? I never heard of a audio book version of a sex tape. Never heard that ever in life. So we, I don't know. So when I seen this, like, man, hold on, man. Is that true? Is this true or not? I don't know. Oops. Hit the wrong button. Um, I, 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 didn't, I didn't know, though. Like, what, what, what's going on? How you have an audio version of it? Was it you? Like, do people say names when they really going at it? He said, ooh, that's my Michelle. He was grunting and growling. And <laughs> he said he wasn't hacked. I don't know, man, but I know Paul Pierce is not feeling this, man. Paul Pierce said, look, said, he can bring a, he can bang a woman on IG Live, but I, can, but I can't have sort of clothed women with me while on Instagram Live. Talk about favoritism because Paul Pierce, he got fired from ESPN. Because he had some ladies twerking and drinking shots and doing all type of stuff on his live. At home, might I add, he at home mind his own business. He is off work. This is his phone. This is his house. This is him drinks and his hoes. You know, he can do that. He can do his thing at his own home. So he can't he can't kick it with some bitches at home. 
That's what I'm saying. But this thing called morale clause, morality, and all this stuff, man. He worked for ESPN, which is Disney. You can't, you know, you can't have chicks bent over butt naked taking shots and stuff. You know, doing your thing, even though that's your phone, and your home, but it come back on them. The, the situation with Shannon Sharp, it was audio. It wasn't any footage. You just seen the the ceiling or whatever. You just seen his ceiling or his side wall or something. You just heard what was going on. So that's why I see the difference in that. You see, I don't know. Maybe it's me, but that's why I see the difference of it. So I was like, I don't know, man. Paul Pierce, you might have a case. Um, you know, it's kind of pick me ish. Like, why mind your business, cuz that that shit happened like two years ago with you. And you, you think you call it favoritism? Like he a good old boy, Shannon Sharp is. He want them go along, get alongs. First of all, just, just keep it how it is. Just keep it real. So I don't know if he gonna um, do that or not. What's up? I need a rubber band for you. Oh, my daughter needs a rubber band. She's coming in and out of my my jurisdiction went to the bathroom but yo um i don't think he has a case i don't think he should have nothing to say because <clears throat> you had two women up there two you see him up there twerking doing all type of stuff tra taking shots looking all light skinned and shit chilling yes baby yes baby hey he was doing this thing man so versus hearing the whole act with shannon sharp like i said it's, it's totally different man to me it's different because we don't know. If, I don't think that was true with Shannon Sharp. I think it was all staged and set up for him to beat them allegations. That's just me. I don't know. But not clap. Crappy anniversary. Ooh, this is a crazy situation right here, man. This dude right here stabbed his mama on the anniversary of her shooting his daddy. The whole family, man. Whole family ain't shit going to hell. I don't know. Um, damn, it's a crappy anniversary on the anniversary of that day. Mm. Ooh, ooh. I don't know what to say about this. I can't say, hey, that much to say, yo. This is how it went down. You look like war if y'all know who that is. Damn, man, yeah, man. All right, war program. That's what that look like. Make sure out to the war program, cucumber man. I don't know if y'all heard about this, man, but this is right here is a crazy story, crazy situation. Cucumber man. Ugh. This dude was caught on ring cam. Footage of a ring cam taking a cucumber and shoving it in the front grill of a vehicle. Then having the time with it. Y'all see it, man. This is some woman. She said she seen this on her ring cam. It's broad daylight. This dude took a cucumber, stuck it in the grill of a car the front end of a car dropped to his knees served him up then jumped up pulled the pants down and backed up into it that's how i, I don't know what i can and cannot say on youtube man they like to get me and mess with me i don't know what i can and cannot say but that's what happened um mm -mm. i don't know what video is this i'm sorry y'all uh, oops I'm hitting, I'm trying to put publish my cat video. All right, you know, I gotta publish my cat today video. I'm sorry, y'all. But this dude right here, Cucumber Man. Yo, is that crazy? Is that wild? What, what was he doing? It's a video, it's footage of it out there. My co host said, What you doing watching that? I said, It's the news, man. I gotta show the stuff. But I ain't believe what I was gonna believe in the scene. This dude look crazy, man. After he got done, he smoked the cigarette also. He lit up. Had a good old time with that cigarette. He smoked the cigarette afterwards, man. I was like, yo, that is crazy. It's on the ring cam, door dash cam or something like that. Woman said she was just looking at her. And I, this dude literally, it, it, they call him Cucumber Man, but it could be one of those um, deal does that got a um, suction cup to it. He might have stuck it to it. But it says a cucumber. I don't know. Either know what he did. It's footage of it. It's crazy. Look up Cucumber Man in Washington, D.C. This is what y'all doing in D.C.? Look at him. That's y'all man's. That's y'all representative. That's your man's. That's your man. And pull it back. I'm talking about a car came. He stopped. 
let the car go by and finish on him. Like, yo, that is wild, man. Cucumber man, Washington, D.C. That's y'all man's in there. Hey, she said he was the one. Some little dude coming out saying, look, I'm Michael Jackson's son. Um, And he mad because Billie Jean, his Billie Jean's son. This is act the actual Billie Jean dude. Just, just a girl, but I am the one. You know that that's she think he the one. This is this is the kid right here, forty some years old man. He mad. He said, "Look, Michael Jackson, my daddy. I'm mad because um he made my mama look like a skeezer, saying she just a girl. She not the one. Thank the kid, but you know all that stuff. This is I don't know, man. This brought it to my attention. I was like, damn, that's crazy. Then I looked it up. They were saying that his DNA test came out negative, or it was faked because he did take a DNA test." I don't know, man. We was looking at him. We like, yo, he do look like Mike. He look like a Jackson. He look like Jermaine. He look like one of them. Tito. This Tito son, man. <laughs> Although kid this is, man. Although what has happened, but and she said he was a what? He might be. He might be lying. He mad though. At least he keeping up with the story of being mad about this. He said it made his mom look like a skeezer. Ooh. And last but not least, Batista. I see you, bro. Is you on that Zempic? Is Batista on that Zempic? Mm hmm. Batista on that Zempic. I don't know, man. Y'all can see him. Look at him, yo. Um, I don't know if he just not taking nothing no more. He used to be on something. Um, I don't want to put cash no dispersions or judgments about this dude, but yo, he dressed like Ellen DeGeneres. That's what I first said and thought. I said he dressed like a lesbian. And they were like, oh, you can't say that. His mama a lesbian. I'm like, hey, I'm sorry about his mama being a lesbian. But he look like a lesbian dressed like this now. I don't care. I'm going to say it. He, he dressed like a butch. He dressed like Megan Rapino. She was at a um, soccer award. ESPN, ESPYs. I don't know, man. Batista, you looking real small, man. You ain't Drax to destroy you no more. I talk shit to this Batista. I'm like, what? What? Skinny ass nigga, get your ass. <laughs> nah, I'm playing, man. I don't know, man. Batista, I hope you're healthy. I don't know. You might not. You ain't tracks to destroy you no more. You ain't got to do that no more. So if they make a Guardians of the Galaxy Part 4, from the last one I seen, he was raising kids. So you might have an apron on, but like, I, ain't, I, ain't, I can't fight today, man. I got to stay with the kids. You might have your cigarette or a little joint or something. You ain't got skinny. Drax. Mm -hmm. The Hall of Fame. NBA, WNBA or something. You need to go somewhere. You got skinny, man. Anyway, these are the stories that happened last week on Earth, man. I do this every Friday at 9 p.m. I go live, man, talking to my co-hosts. We talk about these stories right here. I'll just talk about them again by myself to um, have more content on the channel, man, so y'all can see what's going on and have more opinions and views of stuff like me. I don't know. Maybe I'm rambling. Anyway, I go live for the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Cook through it, I let me back. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell, all them good buttons you got to hit to get this pepper that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation, and I'll let your boy Heist Man the Foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. This has been Last Week on Earth. This is a dangerous group, is it? Groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there. <laughs>